Boys, we got a bit of an interesting article that we found here on Reddit uh, that claims that Master Duel has topped all other TCGs on mobile, specifically iOS, uh, not taking into account consoles, Steam, Android, etc., etc. I wanted to read a little bit of the article, not the whole thing. I'll link it down in the description if you want to read it yourself. Uh, but according to this article, the monthly earnings of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has topped other TCGs in the earning report on Sensor Tower. Uh, Sensor Tower just takes data as far uh, when it comes to iOS, iPhone, um, you know, uh, downloads, etc., etc. Uh, and you can see on here. Uh, that if I scooch this up, actually, whoop, you can see that the Master Duel is estimated to have over 400,000 downloads and a revenue in March of $8 million. Oh my lordy. Uh, this only counts for iOS, not Android, not Steam, not console, etc., etc. If you continue reading down here, um, it beat out Hearthstone, MTG Arena, Shadowverse. It should be noted that these are just the, uh, the game's iOS earnings does not include data from Steam, console, console or even Android with Hearthstone behind the game by a sizable gap $1 million in that time space. So let's talk about it because uh, I talked about a little bit about this game and how it's earning money. Number one, first and foremost, $8 million on phones is absolutely ridiculous because the phone version of this game is total dog shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have played the mobile version. On iPad, apparently iPad is fine. iPad is fine. There's no like crazy net code lag or anything else. But if you try to play this game on your phone, on your iPhones, there is a weird, you could go watch my Master Duel review video, um, that there is this weird lag when it comes to the game uh, while you're actually playing it. So the fact that it's that poorly optimized and still made that much money is absolutely crazy to me. And obviously is it's good for the game to make money. Um, but then that's where you kind of get curious and say, okay, well, if you just made $8 million on just iPhone, who knows how much you made off of Android console and Steam put together. That's, you know, even if you, even if they made half as much on each of those platforms and then add it all together that's still a shitload of money where's the updates bro <laughs> you know uh, konami made all this money with the game where are the updates that is the big question because i'm curious how much the game made on uh january and february and of course we're going to know more information once the actual konami monthly quarterly uh reports come out where they'll actually tell us more in depth how much they made. We'll also know how much they made, uh, you know, in dual links and in, in, in sales of just the cardboard game, etc., etc. It won't just be so specific to one category, but I would, I would, I would say in my opinion, right? If you're just looking at one of your major revenue sources made $8 million, which beat out all other TCGs, including dual links on uh, one singular platform, I would say that 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 does point to a good sign overall, right? In terms of the game making money. Um, that does kind of, to me anyway, I don't, I don't know how other people feel about this, but to me, this also shows games like Duel Links that you do not need to be pay to win in order to make money on the game. Uh, Duel Links does not need its constant, um, its constant level of, you know, bringing out the new boxes, making you go in, you know, just for a basic UR starter, uh, making you go in and spending a lot of money or spending a lot of resources, time grinding to get those things because you don't spend money. Um, it shows that you can have a game that's essentially free to play. Let's be honest, Master Duel is like 100% free to play, right? If you are willing to make a new account constantly, you have everything you could ever want in Master Duel right off the bat. You never have to spend a penny on it. I know people that come to my Twitch chat and say they have like six, seven, eight decks across like, you know, a bunch of their accounts that they have not spent a single dime on. And even if you are a person um, 
who hates the idea of making multiple accounts and you just want to have your one account the amount of gems that you're getting from ranked hitting platinum one every season the amount of gems you're getting from actually completing all of the events successfully even though some of them might be a little bit more boring than others with this Grow event as long as you make sure to complete those events you will be able to build decks on your account there are people who have like four or five decks on one account because they've just been playing the game a whole shit ton and able to uh, uh garner that much um I guess support from the game so there you go i mean listen if 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 master duel can make that much money in march of all like i i think everyone would agree that march is also not the honeymoon phase of of master duel anymore that was definitely more january february uh if they could make that much during a downtime period for the game Duel Links does not need to sell you cards for how expensive they are. They could definitely take a more free-to-play model. And just in general, all card games can kind of see that a more free-to-play friendly model is good overall for the game's health. Now, granted, again, it's better to wait for the monthly earning uh, charts. It's better to wait to see, you know, how Master Duel did compared to other Konami properties, how good they did, um, you know, not just in March, but overall since it's released. Th that's the type of information that we'll be uh, finding out later uh, when it comes to Master Duel. Uh, but I think for now, it's a pretty good sign, pretty good start. $8 million, that's a lot. It's time to spin that eight mil to uh, <laughs> add some new content, Master Duel. Let's go. That's it. That's all for me. I just wanted to talk about it because there were a lot of people on the channel that were wondering, curious if Master Duel was making any money, if it was making money similar to Duel Links, more than Duel Links, less than Duel Links. I think it's fair to say now that Master Duel is, if it's wow. beating all TCGs, then it's definitely going to be beating games like Duel Links and the future of the you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Online, if you will, will be fully on the Master Duel train. Um, I don't think, especially with these earnings coming out, uh, Konami isn't going to look at both games and be like, oh, let's go for Duel Links when Master Duel is just making so much more. But who knows? You guys put down your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Um, if, if, I mean, this is obviously a positive thing, but do you think that, the, you know, it could potentially be more of a just upfront cost? Do you think that, do you expect it to make more money? Do you make it to less money as we go on? What do you guys think? That's it from me. Till the next video. Peace out, boys.